after taking account of the aggravating and mitigating factors in your case, I impose a sentence of nine years and eight months imprisonment, subject to allowing for the time which you have spent remanded in custody. You will serve two thirds of the sentence in custody and will be in li on license thereafter for the rest of the sentence. You can sit down. Abina Abeta, stand up please. There are aggravating features in your case. You deliberately targeted a victim who was particularly vulnerable due to his young age, his isolation from his immediate family, and his poverty. After the conspiracy to exploit C was thwarted, you continued to try and find another person to be exploited in the same way. As against that, you have no previous convictions and you are a person of good character. The applicable starting points are custodial sentences of 10 years in the case of Abina Abeta. You can sit down. Dr. Beatrice Ekramadi, would you stand up please? In your case, I adopt a starting point of six years custody. I do not consider that the aggravating factors that are present in the case of your co-defendants apply to you. You were not directly involved in the identification of the donor and the evidence does not show that you were directly involved in the attempts to identify a further donor after the transplant did not go ahead. I take account of all the mitigating features that Mr. Mahindru KC has identified and the content of the thorough and helpful pre-sentence report prepared by Jessica Stephen of the Probation Service. You are a person of good character. You helped set up the ECOA Foundation with your husband and you have been closely involved with its important charitable work. Much of the character evidence I have read applies also to you. You were also motivated by the desperate plight of your daughter and by maternal love. Further, in your case, I accept that although Sonia is an adult, you have substantial caring responsibilities towards her. Your incarceration will have a significant impact on her in that she will no longer be able to rely on your presence as a source of care and support. Having regard to those factors, I impose a sentence of four years and six months imprisonment. You have spent 234 days on an electronically monitored curfew between 9 p.m. and 7 a.m. I specify that the credit period for the purposes of section 240A of the Criminal Justice Act 2003 is 117 days. So that period shall count towards your sentence. Subject to that and subject to allowing for the time you have spent remanded in custody, you will serve one half of your sentence in custody. The applicable starting points are custodial sentences of 10 years in the case of Abina Abeta, 10 years and six months in the case of E.K. Ekramadu, and six years in the case of Beatrice Ekramadu.